Well, today is Thursday, March the 7th, and I just got my Dell back at noon yesterday. One of my fans and supporters, and Meyer VW, he went and um, he had a MacBook he was going to bring to me. And tonight, um, I went out and had some fun with him. He bought me flowers and took me out to dinner and took me shopping, gave me cash in hand, and Bought me hair weave, people. Hair weave and cash, gold, hard cash. Okay. Enough to get my hair done and a little bit of this. On the wow. And, um, I'm gonna try this new stuff here. All the girls are raving about this new Malaysian straight. It's kind of her. Get my hair done. Say bye bye to this raggedy old shit mix. Um, I know I feel some kind of way with being a financial dominatrix and being a seductress and being a mommy and being a friend and you have fans and supporters that want to do things and gift you. It feels awkward at the time at times because I'm the giver all the time. So just this recently this, the tables have turned for me in my life. Thank you. I appreciate that. And um I got a hair appointment at 7 o'clock in the morning. Wow, I got to pull that off and be in mommy mode at the same time. Um, a lot has happened. Um, mixed emotions about some things that have happened as far as the business is concerned. That's what P Dub is helping me out so I can start doing better stuff. Um, had a long conversation with um, him about some content and things like that. Um, how he feel about it. And I had to keep reiterate, you sure about this? You sure about this? Are you sure about this? Because when you have someone that's in a certain position and you're in a certain, you know, sexy occupation, you have to get their constant feedback. I maybe I'm being compulsive about it, but I have to find out we're still on the same page. Because at any moment it can change. You know, he can say, Oh, you know what, sweetie, I don't support what you're doing right now. You know, you can hang it up and I don't even see any future for us. And um it's really weird because now it's like I feel like some sudden pressure because I had a change in my health insurance because income change. I mean, being an entertainer, being self-employed, is it's something else. I'll tell you that it's something else, and where it's called a starving artist. It's true because we are, and the health insurance that we try to get, whether it's from some little plan that you got, or you're trying to sign up for something that the state offers, or some to a health service, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever it is, it. You know, and finding out why they're saying you're over income, you don't qualify, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like your whole mindset changes about things. It's like, so guess what? Hmm, your girl going to be making some cash and going to the doctor paying cash or it's insurance. And I had Blue Cross Blue Shield tell me that they would rate me because of my height and weight. I'm a little bit shy of 300 pounds. Because, yeah, I was like 280. Now I'm just like late 280s or whatever you want to call it in the 90s one. I'm trying not to creep. I'm like an inch or so away from 300. I don't ever want to see 300 pounds ever again. Okay. Five, six and a half and shrinking. I don't want to see that. Mm -mm. Um, what else? So yeah, I, I feel some kind of way. I don't want to go deep, deep, deep into, you know, the whole health insurance and not having coverage being a single parent. It's like, how can I afford coverage when I'm self-employed? Even if, I'm an entrepreneur, even if I don't even work. It's not like I work every single day or I make money every single day. So it's like, how? Anyway, I don't even want to talk about that. It's just, it seems like the system is set up to keep girls like me and single mothers or some people down because, or to do things illegally or to do things in, in the, uh, what do you want to call it? The wrong way, I guess. You know, it's like I want to get out there and start doing sucking bug videos again because I may have to pay higher medical coverage because the way these times are with the economy and it's it fucking sucks it really does it sucks and now i mean the coverage that i have for the dental was crappy but as you can see i keep my teeth clean and i keep them you know right but i, I was going to utilize the little community resources any damn way to get my teeth feel because i have like a they said you know root canal whatever but i don't feel them you know but before i start feeling something i need to get my hands in the dentist so Anyway, um, uh, the shower's running. Um, I want to talk about some. Uh oh, I got a phone call. Talk to you soon.